part 95 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss on begin, on complete, on success, and on failure properties of Ajax Options class. This is continuation to part 94, so please watch part 94 before proceeding. Using these four properties of the Ajax Options class, we can associate JavaScript functions that get called on the client at different stages of an Ajax request response cycle. The associated JavaScript function with this onBegin property is automatically called before the server-side action method is invoked. Let me explain what I mean. This is the example that we have been working with in the previous sessions of this video series. Now, when we click this all link, this all action method within the home controller gets invoked. But then, if we have specified onBegin property, then the associated JavaScript function is going to get automatically called before this server-side action method is invoked. And if we have specified onComplete property, then the associated JavaScript function is invoked after the response data has been instantiated, but immediately before the page is updated with that response data. So when the controller action method completes execution, we have this response data which is instantiated. Now, immediately before the UI is updated with that response data, that's when the JavaScript function that is associated with this onComplete property is automatically invoked. Whereas if we have specified onSuccess property, then the JavaScript function is invoked immediately after the page is updated you know, with the data from that response object. If at all, if there is any failure, then the JavaScript function that is associated with this property is invoked. Let's look at an example of using these properties. First of all, let's get rid of this time information. So within the index view, let's get rid of that line. And within students partial view, let's get rid of that. Let's run the application. So now we shouldn't get the time information anymore. OK, so when we click this all link, you know, we get all students data here. But then look at this. When I click top three, you know, I have this data still, all students there. And then the image is right there. Now my requirement, let's say, for example, we want, you know, when, as soon as I click this link, I want this data to be cleared. And then, you know, that spinning image should be present there. And as soon as we have the data available, the UI should be uh, updated. Let's see how to achieve that. So we basically want to clear the student's information that's present in this div tag. OK, so within our index view, this is the div tag which displays student information. So first, let's go ahead and write some JavaScript function which is going to clear that div contents. So within our page, I'm going to include a script tag. So script type equals text slash JavaScript. Language is JavaScript. So let's write a function here. Maybe let's call this clear results. So what we want this function to do, basically clear the contents of this div tag. OK, so let's use jQuery. So dollar. And what is the ID of that div tag? It's called div student. So let's copy the ID. So here we are using that jQuery selector, ID selector pound symbol. And then once we have that div tag, all we want to do is invoke the empty method, which is going to clear the contents of the div. OK, now we need to associate this JavaScript function with on begin property. So we have the Ajax options object here. So I'm going to specify on begin property and then associate this JavaScript function clear results. OK, let's do it for the rest of the action links that we have. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. So when we click top three, so first top three students um, should be displayed. And now when we click bottom three, 
look at that the data is immediately cleared and then the spinning image and as soon as the data becomes available you know we have that information displayed so basically this the JavaScript function that is associated with the on begin property is executed in you know before the server side action method is called so as soon as we click on the link this JavaScript function gets called which is going to clear the contents of the div okay now this on begin function I mean this on begin property can also be used to programmatically cancel the invocation of the server side controller action method let's say for example based on some conditions I want to be able to cancel the execution of this controller action method again we can very easily achieve that using this on begin property so let's say let's write some function here um, cancel call so basically this function you know has to return true or false if this function returns true then you know the call to the server side controller action method will continue and it will be invoked otherwise if this function returns false then the call will be cancelled okay so basically you can specify any condition depending on your application requirement but let's come out you know this condition will never be true so if one equals to true that will always be false but then let's say we want to return true in that case else let's return false and then let's alert a message action method will not be invoked all right now let's associate this with this on begin property so this method gets automatically invoked before a call to the server side action method is made and then if you look at this cancel call function what is it doing it is going to return false okay so if this function returns false what's going to happen you know the application will not issue an a call to the server side controller action method so basically we are canceling uh, the execution there okay so this condition will be false so it will come into the else block and return false that's why the server side controller action method will not be called okay so here we are using you know some crazy condition but then in your application depending on your application requirement you may give whatever conditions you want so let's go ahead and run this and see if we get the desired output look at that action method will not be invoked I click OK no animation and and there is no call to the server side action method alright so let's revert this back to clear results alright so let's now look at using this on success property okay now let's say immediately after we have displayed so um, let's save these changes here and then let's refresh this view so when we click uh, top three we get the top three students and then their details will be displayed here but immediately after the details are displayed I also want to display the total number of students um, you know within that result set okay so basically for that we can use this on success property okay so as soon as the response you know as soon as the UI is updated the JavaScript function that is associated with this on success property will get called so at that point we can you know count the number of rows in the table that displays these details and then you know present that information okay so basically this information is presented by this partial view student partial view and here notice that we have a table so let's give an ID for this table maybe let's call it um, students table okay so we can use the students uh, this ID and then count the number of rows within this table so within our index view I'm going to write another function let's call this count rows and this function
so let's use the ID selector which is pound so basically within that table a table which has got that ID within that table I want the total rows and I can use the length property which is going to give us the total number of rows within that student table but then look at this within the student table table I mean this is the table header so that will also be counted so we want to subtract one from the length and then let's append you know some text to this so rows retrieved all right and then let's alert let's use in a JavaScript alert to display this information on the UI all right length property and then we want to subtract one from that okay so let's go ahead and run that look at this when we click top three so the spinning image as soon as the information is updated we should also get an alert for some reason we are not getting that alert and why is that we have written the function but we have not associated this with on success property so let's go ahead and specify on success property and then associate this function count rows and let's do the same thing with other action links that we have All right, so let's run this now. So top three. Look at that, we have three rows there, three rows retrieved. I click OK and we are done. Okay, similarly, if you click on this link, depending on the number of rows retrieved, you know, that information is will be displayed. So very useful Ajax options. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.